Uh, call today, December 19th, 2011, meeting to order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Mayor, Mayor Angel. Commissioner Crawford. Here. Commissioner Householder. Here. Commissioner Jennings. Here. Commissioner Shirley. Here. Um, before we uh, go into the Pledge of Allegiance today, I would just like to take a moment to thank all of our um, all of our city firefighters and police uh, that will be working during our Christmas holiday and, uh, and then maybe during our moment of silence we turn our attention to our servicemen and women that are serving the United States overseas and will not be able to join their families this year during Christmas. So please join me in uh, Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. This is a time for our citizens forum. This is an uh, opportunity for any of the citizens that might be with us today that would like to speak out on an item that is a not part of the published agenda today. So if there's any citizens here to come before the commission, please come on up to the podium and state your name and your address. Yes, thank you. Uh, my name is David Olson. Uh, I currently reside at 1812 East Magnolia Road. And I'm here today because I wasn't able to be here um, a few meetings ago when you passed um, an ordinance in which you condemned our property in order to uh, improve the uh, Magnolia Road. So I'm basically going to make a few comments today about that project. Uh, my mom's been in the hospital. I think one of the meetings was during a time in which she uh, needed our attention there. So anyway. Um, but I just briefly wanted to say that we've worked with uh, the past commissions on a number of different projects out on Magnolia Road. Um, the school district came to us. We used to own over 80 acres out there. And um, the school district came to us and uh, took a portion of our property at that time in order for the city to be able to grow and expand in that area. After that, um, the soccer club decided that we had some property out on Magnolia Road that would be part of a project that would uh, include some other properties in which there would be a project to develop some soccer fields out there. Uh, that project took another 17 acres. So between those two projects, uh, we've lost uh, a little over uh, 34 acres of our 80 acre parcel out there to city related projects. And now here we go again, we've got another acre and a half which the city wants to uh, claim and, and use for their uh, purposes. Now, we're not opposed to working with the commission to come up with a reasonable uh, price for that property, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to do so at this time. And I just wanted to come forward and say that we want to work with you on that process. We think that we've been working uh, with the people involved at this point. But my main point of contention is that the survey that came back in terms of the price has several inaccuracies in it. I don't know if those have been pointed out to you. But uh, they used a couple of parcels that actually uh, a nine acre tract is actually 160 acres. Um, they've used properties that are 20 years old, 10 years old. And we're not looking at some of the current values. I think that if you realistically look at your appraisal and then you take into consideration what Menards paid for their property, you take into consideration what Doug Bradley paid for their property, you take into consideration some of these other properties that haven't been considered that you may come to a better conclusion in terms of your current understanding of what that real estate is worth. So um, if you have any questions of me, I'd feel free to address those. If not, um, I thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, come on up. Hi, my name is Gary Olson, 7300 South Whitmore Road, Gypsum, Kansas. I wasn't very good in debate and forensics, so you're not going to get very long when it's speech for me, I guess. So, <laughs> um, I am actually a real estate broker here in Salina. I um, have a company called Atop Realty, and obviously because of that, I probably have spent more time working on this project and researching and trying to come up with a fair value. 
I'm not really sure. I don't want to get into all the logistics of what else happened. I don't think that's this is really the time or place for that. But I am open for questions if um, you have any at this point or have had discussion that would might arise to some questions or if this needs to be put on to a, an item to discuss some other time, I'd be open to any discussion format that would be available to us. And I guess we're here today because we were here earlier today for a meeting upstairs um, to try to come up with appraisers and start the process. And I'm sure as you're fully aware, we're trying to resolve the matter today as best we can. So I <laughs> just want to come. And since I know we're part of the discussion in your hearts today, I just wanted you to put a name to the face. Mm -hmm. And that's primarily my purpose to be here. So excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And I would entertain any questions if you would have any. OK, thank you. Well, I appreciate both of you being here. I know that that's a, a process and part of our actions previously have been uh, done in, in, in the event that um, if things don't work out, um, we have to take actions at a certain time that will allow for the project to stay on track because it's not just a city project, but Kansas Department of Commerce has a play in it. So um, it's not really a matter before the commission, but your comments will be noted. And then we hope that the process continues and, and that inputs are taken into consideration. Thank you both. Uh, Mayor, if I may, Mayor and Commissioners, uh, we will be asking uh, to expand the scope of your executive session today uh, to include an attorney-client privileged conversation relative to uh, this matter. Okay. So that's, uh, that's what Mr. Olson was referring to. Oh, okay. excellent. Are there any other citizens that would like to come before the commission for comments at this point in time? Okay, seeing none, we'll, uh, we have no awards and proclamations in front of us today. So uh, we move into public hearings and items scheduled for a certain time. Item 5.1, public hearing on the 2011 budget amendments. At this point in time, I'll open the public hearing and Mr. Franz. Mayor and Commissioners, thank you. Uh, this being the uh, uh, last regular meeting of the year, uh, halfway through December, it's uh, now time to uh, uh, make the final budget adjustments that are necessary uh, to make everything uh, um, come out in a, uh, uh, an appropriate way at year end. Uh, there are a, uh, 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 several adjustments that are necessary. Uh, most, if not all of these, uh, I'll say most of these were discussed at, at mid-year uh, when we did the estimates at that time. Uh, changes, specific changes under consideration are in the special sales tax fund. Uh, we have increased the budget of, of uh, expenditures uh, from 3,990,000 to 5,285,000. Uh, that is due almost entirely to the addition of the Marymount Road project to that fund. Um, that project uh, had previously resided as a uh, uh, as a debt finance project, and we decided uh, uh, to use these funds in, in place of that. Flood and drainage fund um, uh, was originally budgeted just for a minor closeout this year. Uh, however, it had a um, uh, project did not materialize in 2010, <clears throat> with the result that there's substantial carryover in the fund, and those. Uh, Resources were then used um, uh, to uh, stabilize the uh, banks of the Smoky Hill River uh, south of Magnolia Road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, risk management uh, fund will be slightly over budget for a, a couple of items. Uh, and in fact, uh, when we get to a year end, it may actually not be over budget, but it's close enough to where we want to provide some margin of, of, of safety. Uh, same holds true for Central Garage. Um, uh, depends a lot on how much fuel they have to buy this month, uh, but it will go over uh, particularly in the fuel category. And then water and wastewater fund, the total amount of the budget is not changing. <coughs> However, we are uh, altering some of the internals fairly significantly, uh, and that doesn't involve some interfund transfers, and those have to be specifically approved. Uh, essentially, we are reducing the transfer to the capital improvements uh, fund. Uh, that is a result of some refinancing activity earlier this year that changed the payment schedules. And so there's a, essentially a surplus in that, uh, in that uh, 
item and then it provides for a transfer to a capital improvements fund and also uh, provides for the water distribution improvements that were performed this year. Uh, these changes uh, uh, formally authorize the revisions contemplated during the budget process uh, and again except uh, with the exception of the modifications to the risk management and central garage improvements which were not um, uh, uh, considered at that time. Uh, at this time, the action required is a motion authorizing the 2011 budget amendments. Uh, if there are any questions regarding that, I'll try to answer them. Uh, uh, if not, uh, uh, there's one other minor item that I would like to point out that is sort of unrelated to this, uh, but kind of related, and that is, as you know, at the end of every year, the final valuations are pr produced by Saline County. The result of that is that the uh, uh, mill levy that we thought we raised last summer is actually reduced slightly. Uh, and so it, uh, it uh, dropped from uh, 26.272 last year to 26.022 this year, which is about a, a little more than a half a mil difference than what we thought at budget time. And I just thought that was a, an interesting, uh, mm. interesting point to bring out at this point. So I'd entertain any questions. Does anybody on the commission have any uh, questions? I understand this is just our, our annual clean it up and get it in the right categories and take account for the things that we know fully about now. But any questions or anything, Mr. Friend? Thank you. Do we have anybody from the public that uh, would like to comment on this matter? Okay, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing, bring it back to the commission for further discussion and action. I recommend we move the motion to authorize the 2011 budget amendment, I can't read, <laughs> <laughs> amendments. Second. <laughs> We have a motion to authorize the 2011 budget amendments in a second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed, motion passes 4-0. Moving on to the consent agenda. Item 6.1, approve the minutes of December 12, 2011. Item 6.2, resolution number 116860, expressing gratitude and appreciation to Glenn Solden for his employment with the City of Salina from January 1st, 1986 to December 15, 2011. Item 6.3, resolution number 116864, <coughs> describing the corporate limits of the City of Salina. Item 6.4, acceptance of a public utility easement dedication on lot three, block one in the metal point edition. Item 6.5, resolution number 116870, authorizing a renewal agreement to provide administrative services for self-funded health benefit plan and individual aggregate stop loss with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas. Item 6.6, .6, authorized purchase of radio equipment in the amount of $34,444.90 in 2011 and $66,787.84 in 2012 from KCOM Incorporated. Are there any items that uh, anybody on the commission has any questions over or would like to poll from the consent agenda? If not, I'd entertain a motion. Mayor, I, I move we approve the consent agenda. Second. We have a uh, motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as read. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? It passes 4-0. We now move on to development business. Item 7.1, acceptance of a 2011 Environmental Protection Agency Water and Wastewater Extension Project Grant Funds Agreement. Mr. Hobby. Thank you, Mayor, Mr. Mayor and Commissioners. We appreciate the fact we have the opportunity to bring to you tonight another grant opportunity for the City of Salina. Working on a workforce housing project for the last couple of years, the City has been working with the Chamber of Commerce to uh, secure some funds for us to work with buying down the purchase price or buying down property or infrastructure for some structures and new homes for people in a workforce housing area. We have before you today a request uh, for you to accept the 2011 Environmental Protection Agency uh, grant for water and wastewater extension. 
as well as allowing the city manager to assign the documents for us on our behalf. The workhorse housing project would include approximately 18 plus homes in a, a subdivision in the community where we've put together multiple grant funds and, and private individual funds to pay for a buying down of the special, inspe special improvements for that area. We have received so far to date uh, from North Central Kansas Regional Planning Commission $130,000 that could be used to purchase land or put into infrastructure and engineering for the project. We've also received from Housing Urban Development $118,750 that can be used for purchase of land as well as to buy down some engineering costs within the, within the system. We've received from EPA $243,000 in grant funds is required to have $198,819 in private funding match, which will be brought to us by the developer themselves and not through the city of Salina. So we have over 700, right at $700,000 in grant funds or funds that we can be used to, to buy down the purchase price of land as well as buy down the uh, infrastructure costs through either streets or water and wastewater in this case. Mm -hmm. We feel like we've got an opportunity here before us to work with uh, these di different agencies from around our region as well as uh, federal agencies to have a workforce housing project where we'd like to build some houses of, of up to 18 houses at least uh, at a cost not to exceed $130,000. And the way that project gets the cost down to $130,000 is through a partial payment for the land as well as a partial payment for the infrastructure that would be placed on that land. This is a unique opportunity for us that we have not had in the past. I think it's something we should try and see how we can work out within our system. If it works well, which we know that the sale of the price of the house is in the neighborhood of some recent sales in our community, we feel like that's a great opportunity for people in the workforce housing area. So we'd ask for you to approve the acceptance of the grant from EPA for water and wastewater extension as well as to be worked for on our workforce housing as well as allow the city manager to sign our grant agreement. I'd be more than glad to stand for any questions you'd have about the program. Any members of the commission have any questions for Mr. Hobby at this point in time? No. Actually, Gary, have we, have we started to locate an, uh, an area in town that we've sort of decided maybe our workforce housing area yet? Have we? We sent out an RFP this summer and we received three proposals from that RFP. We're working through those proposals to confirm that they meet all the requests in our RFP. And then we'll be sitting down with the city manager later on this week or first of next week to discuss those proposals and how they'd work best in this program. If we don't actually come up with a program for a, a new green space that we can develop, then we have the opportunity to be able to take that money and put it into existing infrastructure or existing areas that would be already uh, designated in the capital improvement funds through the water and wastewater grant and use those funds to improve the water wastewater in those uh, areas that are already structurally built okay mr cage just a, a quick note too I, uh, this uh, goes back to work that was put together a package that was put together uh, really about two years ago and i want to make sure and give credit to the chamber of commerce i think this shows that how the positive partnership can work because uh, Dennis Lover, the president, put a lot of work into putting this together, submitting it to our folks in Washington who looked at it and said, this is a pretty neat concept. Let's give it a shot. So it gives us an opportunity to do this. Good. Excellent. Any other questions at this point in time? Is there anybody here from the public that would like to comment on this? Seeing none, I'll bring it back to the commission for further discussion and action. Mayor, at this time, I'd uh, move that we consider the acceptance of the 2011 Environmental Protection Agency Water and Wastewater Extension Project Grant Funds Agreement for a workforce housing project within the City of Salina Second. and authorize the City Manager to execute documents related to the 2011 EPA Grant Project. Second. Still second. I didn't want to leave anything out. That's a mouthful, I know. <laughs> I messed up the last one. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> we have a motion and two potential seconds. <laughs> we have a motion and a second to accept this uh, 2011 Environmental Protection Agency Water and Wastewater Extension Project Grant Funds Agreement, uh, along with authorizing the city manager to execute the documents related to that project. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. Moving on to administration. 
Item 8.1, Resolution Number 116869, authorizing an agreement for an audit of the City of Salina records for the year ending December 31st, 2011. Mr. Franz, you're a popular guy today. Uh, apparently. Must be year end. <laughs> I'd rather not be sometimes. No. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, again, time to uh, um, enter into an audit agreement for the audit of the 2011 fiscal records. You notice I have to stop and think about the year anymore. <laughs> Uh, we again have received a, uh, um, uh, a renewal letter of engagement from uh, Lowenthal, Webb, and Oderman. We have maintained a relationship with this firm uh, for uh, now, I believe, 11 years. This will be the 11th year. Uh, they're very familiar with the way, uh, way we do business and are, uh, 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 have been fairly efficient at getting the auditing process done. Uh, the fee proposed is 36900 That has remained unchanged now for four years. Um, and uh, we'd recommend that we uh, enter into this agreement with uh, Lowenthal, Webb, and Oderman. And I have to read the name because they've changed the, the, mm -hmm. the name. used to be Lowenthal, Singleton, Webb, and Wilson. And, you know, I kind of had that <laughs> down. It has, has rhythm, but they changed some of the principles, and now it's a little bit different. So... Be glad to answer any questions. Any questions for France at this time? Thank you. Is there anybody here from the public that would like to speak on this issue? If not, I'll bring it back to the Commission for Action. I recommend we adopt resolution number 11 6869 authorizing the mayor to execute the agreement with Lowenthal Webb and Oderman for audit services. And I am impressed that they have not asked for an increase of fees in four years. I appreciate that and think we should definitely use somebody that doesn't want to increase the fees. I second that on both fronts. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, uh, a motion and a second to approve resolution number 11-6869. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. Item 8.2, resolution number 116861, adopting the 2011-2016 capital improvement program and authorize the 2012 sub-CIP. Mm, who can take this? Mr. Franz? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why'd you sit down? <laughs> Force of habit. Uh, this, again, is the adoption of the uh, multi-year capital improvement program. The document is uh, prepared and presented. Uh, includes uh, essentially a report on the status of the 2011 projects, most of which are well underway or complete, uh, and then includes the projects that are proposed for 2012 through 2016. Uh, this has been through uh, Planning Commission review, as is the normal process. Um, uh, and uh, they, had, uh, they had no concerns with it. Uh, we also have included here our sub-CIP, which is our smaller uh, 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 financing packages for uh, uh, basically cash-financed items, which includes uh, building and facilities maintenance, uh, park improvements, um, our street re repair program, uh, which includes a significant component from the uh, special sales tax fund, uh, vehicles and equipment, uh, water and wastewater enhancements and computers and technology uh, uh, replacements and upgrades. Uh, the plan includes uh, an analysis uh, of the fiscal impacts of the plan, uh, uh, which extend over a, approximately a five or six period. Of course, for the projects that are bond financed, the fiscal impacts extend further than that, but that is the immediate period we're looking at. And as you can see from those uh, analyses, the, um, uh, uh, the impacts tend to trail off with time because you're paying projects off as, as, you're, adding, uh, uh, all, as you're also adding projects. Uh, a couple of notes. Uh, uh, the special sales tax uh, fund has a, a very slight reserve capacity uh, as scheduled for 2011 through for through 2014 and then beyond 2014 there is capacity for additional projects 
Uh, that fund does sunset, I believe, in 2019, if I recall correctly. Um, uh, it, it, uh, the plan does require uh, 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 up to 6.9 mils, I believe, as presented. That's a correction to the blue sheet for the bond and interest levy in 2014. Uh, that's somewhat higher than the current levy. Uh, this um, uh, uh, increase in the levy has been anticipated for some time as a result of projects that we completed in the early uh, part of the uh, uh, 2000s. Um, water and sewer projects proposed in the plan have been incorporated in the rate analysis. Uh, and uh, funding should be in place for those those to occur as as planned. Uh, I think at this point I'll open it for questions. <coughs> I, I do have one uh, comment. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's correcting the plan or not, but it, it is. Uh, we had intended in 2012. Uh, we had intended for the downtown lights project to be uh, listed as a future consideration project but in the course of preparing the uh, plan you know it was out and it was in and it was out and it was in uh, it ended up being in 2012 uh, uh, and that is what the uh, uh, financial numbers are based on um, uh, but that is not set in stone obviously if you wanted to if you thought it was a little bit too tenuous to include there at this point yet uh, it's no no issue to remove that. Um, as a matter of fact, if you want to remove any projects from the plan, that's no issue either. We can uh, we can accommodate that, and that is the purpose of this review. Uh, Just to add to that a little a little bit, um, because you still have an uh, to have in front of you a contract on that project for an investment grade audit. That's the final engineering piece. Uh, that really, we, 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 our intention really was to have that in the for further review column till such time as you would decide to move forward with the project and have you add that into the actual plan. So it might make sense if you want to, to, to in a motion, to just ask for that to be placed in the for further review column and doesn't affect your actions from this point on. That is about a $1.2 million project in 2012, and it does, uh, it does affect the mill levy by approximately two tenths of a mill per year. Uh, into the future, so it would be, uh, it would change that those numbers slightly as presented. Mm -hmm. Any questions from Rod at this point in time? I had one just on one of the 2013 projects to if we could uh, put the Sunset Park restrooms on identified but unfunded as of now list. Could we do that? Uh, you may. Okay. Uh, you need you know, three votes. <laughs> so I need to make a motion to do that? Yes. Can I make a motion to put the Sunset Park restrooms on the identified but unfunded as of now list for 2013? Would, I would, think, would you want to do that at a separate time outside of, of accepting this? Because um, we're not acting on that project here. Would that confuse well, uh, the two? I, I would think possibly that as a group you might want to talk about that, and then when there's a motion to adopt the whole plan, yeah. you could adopt it potentially with the downtown lights in the uh, mm -hmm. for further review, and then possibly if you want to with Sunset Park and the identified but unfunded. So just get all that. Just part of one motion and yeah, yeah on right. adoption. That might okay. be the yeah. cleanest way to do it. Okay. okay. Yep. So if you if 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 that would work, Commissioner Shirley, you could yeah. just rescind the current motion, and then you guys could talk about those aspects of it and then come out with a motion to adopt the whole thing with those potentially those two changes mm -hmm. that works for us and you may want to add that 2014 Oakdale Park restroom too uh, that's on the next page <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one too. <laughs> I think we want to do so we want to do something over there we're just I think a couple of us are still a little shaky about the numbers on those um, so you'd maybe want to add I'm not trying to make your motion for you but I just wasn't aware if you maybe spotted that on the next page and go ahead and do that you'd say now Jason yeah I think you, you may want to discuss to see if there's any other project that you as a group want to talk about and if you come out of it and say we like the plan those modifications are fine whomever it would be would make a motion to uh, approve the resolution uh, which approves the plan 
with those particular changes, whatever you agree on would be those changes. Could be three of those, it sounds like possibly. Uh, one of the changes would be uh, moving the downtown lights out of 2012 under for further review and moving the Sunset Park restrooms in 2013 and the Oakdale Park restroom project from 2014 both into the identified but unfunded list. That could be part of the motion and then you've got it all packaged up. Okay. Any other thoughts or comments or questions for Mr. Franz at this point in time? Mm, I think those look good. Okay, is there anybody here from the public that would like to uh, make comments on this item? Then I'll bring it back to the commission so we can have that discussion. <coughs> Is that something we should take a short recess into to discuss? I don't think any need. I think, we're, I think we're fine. I'm not sure the there would really wouldn't. Um, just if if there were any um, any legal aspects on moving those items oh, that would yeah, cause I us to. Don't, yeah, you don't have any legal aspects. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're fine, and okay. and just bringing out any of your thoughts on any of these, and and. Uh, letting us know what you would like to do with them and then somebody can package the thoughts together and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take a motion at it. Okay, then I will stay with the original motion on the Sunset Park restrooms on identified but unfunded as of now list and also add the Oakdale 2014 one onto that list. As well as the lighting. As well as, well as the okay. LED lighting. I'll second that. Well, for oh, sorry. For yep. clarification, uh, do you want the lighting to be on for further review? For further review, yes. Okay, and the other two would be unfunded, identified, but identified, unfunded. Identified, thank you. Okay. So that's uh, as I understood it. Yeah, second. Okay, so I'll, uh, we've got a motion and a second, and I'll uh, give my interpretation of it, and please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> we have a motion and a second uh, to, number one, move the downtown lighting project to the further review list. And then both of the park restroom projects, the Sunset Park project and the Oakdale Park project to uh, the identified but unfunded list at this point in time. Is that correct? That's what I said, yeah. Okay. That's we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. Thank you with helping with the wording. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> written. Uh, Mayor, at this time, I would move that uh, we recess into executive session for 40 minutes to discuss with legal counsel matters subject to the attorney-client privilege for either reason that the public discussion of those matters would waive the privilege and adversely affect the city's interest in the matters and to discuss confidential data relating to the financial affairs and trade secrets of a corporation for the reason that the public discussion of the information would competitively disadvantage the corporation and reconvene at 515. Commissioners, real quick, I want to make sure on the last item, I've got you all right with the protocol. You made the motion to move those three projects into those those categories. You need to vote on it. Go ahead and yes. vote on the resolution yep. now with mm -hmm. that amendment. Okay. Yeah, so. Sorry. Just one, that's okay. Just one step ahead. And if you get that, then yep. you're, you're yep. good with that one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, come back. So we'll table that motion. That motion. Yep. Yep. Okay. So uh, we do need to uh, have the formal action then to approve the last item as we, we modified it. Mayor, I, I move we approve resolution number 116861, adopting 2011 to 2016 capital improvements plan with the amendments. Mm -hmm. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve re resolution number 11-6861 adopting the 2011 through 2016 capital improvement plan all those in favor say aye aye, aye. those opposed same sign and that carries four zero thank you mr gage then we had a motion in front of us for executive session and a second and a second we have a motion and a second to retire into executive session until 5 15 p.m all those in favor say aye aye, aye. those opposed same sign that carries 4-0. Do we expect any uh, formal action? We do not. Okay. We are now in executive session. <laughs>